All right, we're out here on Lake Norman at seven in the morning. And I'm about to cut some big old cut fresh gizzard shad. Then I'm gonna get a fan casted spread, a tin rod spread out in this shallow flat. And hopefully we're gonna get on them. So let me cut these up, cast these out, and hopefully a rod will go down here soon. Well, we had a nice hard tug. I think he stole my bait and ran. I hope he didn't. Been here about 15. That was a nice hard slam. No? Uh, looks like... Yeah, no slime. That might have been gar. Oh! That's... Something on the bait rod. And that don't sound like bait. <laughs> He's pulling drag. What we got here? A hybrid? Or a big cat? Well, not really a big cat, but... A little channel cat be Heavy on this. Just had a little red worm on it. What do we have here? Ugh, grief. Oh, it snapped. I think it was a cat. Ah, gum it. <laughs> of course. It, uh... That's probably what it hit at the gizzard head. Of course, it don't get hooked on the cat rod, it hits the bait rod. Well, we'll give it another bit here. Nothing else hooks up. Might head down like, I'm not sure yet. There's no flow up here. Oh, we'll see, hopefully a rod will go down here soon. GoPro stop, oh, there we go. Let's get ready to shut them off. He's coming at the boat quick. Not a bad blue to start the day off with. Come on, open that back up. Come on. There we are.
Uh, hopefully you can see the sun blasting behind us. Easy. 15 pounds, four ounces. Blew off a cut gizzard shad on a shallow flat. Probably nine to 11 feet of water. And that was probably a gizzard body piece. Well, it looks like we got a little bit of flow now. And I started pulling some water. So I think we'll keep heading up river. Can't believe it. Pretty sure I was a cat seeing this blue tail. Can't believe it hit my bait rod. A little tiny red worm on an Aberdeen hook. Nothing else hits in the next 20 minutes or so. We'll pull up and find us another anchor. There we are. Got a pouch. Get rid of them fins. Always cut any fins off my baits just to be safe. Don't want anything to get in the way of a hook set. I'll pull that bobber down a bit. There's something jumping. soon all right we got one running i'm trying to mess with my bait rod here Ooh. feels pretty good This is a headpiece or a chunk. They're fired up though. Get you away from that other rod. There we are. What we got? Oh. I'm gonna hit that one. I think we're a little bigger. This one's a little bigger. And of course, took the gizzard. So I figured that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna burn me out of gizzards quick. Yeah. Pretty nice one. A little bit of mud on them. 35 inches almost. Oh, we got one on this one now. 
looks like they fired up. That wasn't a piece of the ip. A piece of the morel just fell out. A screw. Keeps happening. Tighten it up good. Did I hit this one? Looks like we might have something on a bait rod. Yeah, they started pulling water. Seems stuff just started firing up. In the net, or in the grips. In the grips in the boat. There we go. Definitely gonna need more of these. Right there, burning through me. In the bank tank. All right, let me get these guys situated. All right, so we got a 22 pound, 14 ounce, and a 13 pound, three ounce. So let's get them back in the water. It's a nice 22. That was good, her body chunk. And this guy, 13 pound porker, I think he sucked down a gizzard head. And off you go. All right, let me rebate these rods, and get them back out, and hopefully we'll keep hammering them down here. There we go. That didn't take long. We're starting to get hot. It was cold this morning though. Looks like we got one right beside us. At least he's messing with it. Oh, this guy gave me my bait back. Now let's get you in. In case this other rod goes down. Yeah, they, they pulling some water now. It wasn't to start with, but it's it's flowing. Hopefully I'll get that guy loose. It's whooping my little worm rods though. Ooh. Easy gone. Break the camera. Let me get this guy situated. 
All right, number four, 13 pounds, six ounces. I think he got my gizzard piece in here somewhere. He knocked it off. I'll find it, put it back out there. Wish this rod get unhung. I doubt that fish is still there. Probably need to check that rod. It was bouncing. Bait check it. But hopefully we'll get us another one here soon. All right, we got one running right here. I think this one. Will... Hopefully he don't get in that snag like that other one did. I'm get him away from that rod though. Don't want him to get hung in a tangle on the rod. Bad one. Suck on me to drive my gizzards. Ah, uh, yeah. All over. Yeah. Oh god, that stinks. Yeah. Oh man. All right, let me get Mr. Poopy Pants situated here. Oh god, it's all over me. All right, uh, Poopy. Eighteen pounds, eight ounces. He's getting blood and poop all over the boat. All right. Yuck. That blood and poop up with this. Dip it in the water. Ugh. Wash that when I get home. All right, so probably gonna cast another rod out this side since most of the activity is kind of mid-channel. So I'll probably rearrange some of these others too. So let's do a bait check, rearrange these rods, and hopefully keep hammering them here. Well, I'm trying to get this rod re-rigged and this. And go slamming. I just moved up a tad, a little deeper water. We in teens, 11 to 13, I think. See a good bit of bait and marks in here. Ain't been here long at all. Trying to re rig that rod. Yeah, end up having to snap it. It was that one fish got it hung all the heck. Well, this current's ripping now. So, a teenager's gonna feel good. Twice. 
nice enough to keep my gizzard. That current is ripping. That's good, keep it enough like that. And in the boat you are. Sally number six, I believe. I'll grab these. These big guys. There we go. Now it's kind of towards the bank. Gut pouch. That current's gonna take my rods down. All right. Let's get all this stuff out of the way and see what this fella is. All right, number six, I believe, 22 pounds even. Nice dark blue cat. Right off the bat. Towards the bank. Dang, feisty. All right, so let me re-rig this rod, get it casted out. There's all kinds of stuff under my boat. You just suspend my bait rods under here. So we'll give it a good bit here. If it, when it dies down, we'll just keep heading up the river. All right, we got one going down. He's running to the bank. More mid channel this time. I think he's in that other line. Yep, he is. That's gonna be a mess. That's a mess. Move that sun drop. Don't want to drink Lake Norman. Oh, you flung my shed off. Now let's hope something don't grab this other rod. All right, let's get this mess untangled. All right, number seven. 12 pounds, one ounce. Pork, pot belly porker. All right. There's two in this anchor. Guys are gonna clean me out of gizzards. I do got some live perch, good some bluegills, and a big old shell cracker. Put that out there. Hopefully, we'll break 20s.
this spring, it's just, I've just pounded the heck out of teens and 20s. And I guess your tweens. All right, so 9.53. We'll give another bit here. Nothing else produces. We'll keep heading further up river. All right, we had one tugging down. Hopefully he's still there. No barriers. I hit two anchors upriver. No activity. Not even a not even a sniff. So I've come down lake. Right here on the ledge. We've got shallows mid and some deep. And it looks like we're hooked up shallow. Already splashing up at the surface. Nothing big. Yeah, he's tanned. See how he's been in the shallows. Still got my perch fillet. Yeah, little guy. I think he may have broke our double digit streak. He covered in mud too. Ain't been here too long. In the afternoon now, one. You always get that afternoon lull, it seems. All right, there went our uh, double digit streak. Eight pounds, four ounces. And he's getting ready to poop a clamshell out. Oh. There you go. Now he's up pooping more, good grief. Been eating the mussels. All right, so boat traffic ain't too bad, wind ain't too bad, it's a nice day. Just the body ain't too good right now. We'll give another little bit here. And I might head further down the lake. I don't know if I want to work any more areas around here or not. Just wait and see what we see. All right, here we go, finally. Better stay buttoned up. Oh. We had the one eight pounder, and that one anchor. Did another anchor and nothing. So I've came way down lake and working these shoals. Ain't been here too long. Wind's picking up. This guy's probably pretty shallow and he just popped off. Yeah. Yeah. Guess he was a dinky. Couldn't get that big gizzard in his mouth. Well, at least I know they're here. Here and shallow. Alright, oh, well, hopefully another one to go down. He didn't feel too big. Like 10 pounder or tween. But it's almost three o'clock. We'll give it a bit here. We'll work another area right here. Then after that, if we don't get on nothing, I might debate heading in. All right, well, hopefully another one will go down and hopefully he'll stay buttoned up. I was debating leaving. 
Still kind of working the show area here. I couldn't buy a bot. I hope this guy stays buttoned. Hopefully my mock's still charged. I think we got a decent blue. At least I hope. Make the weight worthwhile. Should at least be the biggest of the day at least. He feels. Yep, definitely. Ah, that's why he feels so heavy. That's a flathead. Just digging. Don't do that. Say ah. Uh. Yeah. I don't think he's the biggest of the day. Just flatheads fight. What? Oh, don't do that. You got that blade in your mouth. Slice my hand open. Easy. Oh, there we are. A little bit of mud and some leech. Leech holes. Easy. Let's get that hook out of you. The old gizzard head, finally. That hook's buried in you. Not a monster, but still. Maybe a 20 pound flathead. All right, let's see what this guy is and get him back in there. Well, he was almost 20. He's 36 and a half inches, 18 pounds, five ounces. But fought harder than the 22 pound blues we caught. That's what I like about flatheads. There you go. All right, hmm. I'll probably still pull up here. We've been here a good while. That's been the only thing. I was actually debating on calling it. I might try to muster one more anchor close to the ramp. I got a long drive there though. So let me, uh, let me reel all of these in. We might try one more anchor closer to the ramp. Hooked up already. Came to a flat. Now refreshing up my bait, using my last gizzard shad. I was eating the last sandwich. Ain't been here long at all. feet. I think I have that gizzard on there now. How are you doing that? Oh, no. Nope. It's still there. What, did you foul hook yourself? Yeah, you did. How you did that? Got excited and ran at that piece and you hooked yourself. Oh, that puts us 10 in the boat.
nothing big. Yeah, I, I never had one had do that before. Right in the fan. Let's make sure you ain't gonna go flailing. Jab this in my hand. Yeah. Almost did. Oh, look at it. You just fell hooked yourself again. All right, let me get this on and fill it out. All right, number 10, 11 pounds, 13 ounce. It's got a big old tumor on his back. There you go. Oh, yeah, I got some big chunks out. I'm hoping they're getting close to sunset that big fish will bite. It is nice and calm. And hardly boat, no boat traffic. Just hope I have enough gas to make it back to the ramp. Cause I didn't get closer, I went further. I got half a tank, so I think I should be good. If not, that's a slow trolling motor ride. Well, hopefully another rod will go down. Hopefully we'll break 20s. Got some drag pulling on this one. That feels like another flathead. That's a solid fish. Oh, my GoPro died. I hope this one don't. I gotta switch that battery out. No, this one's 38%. Oh, he's coming to the top. Another flathead. And blue. And I just twirl it away. Another big one. This felt real heavy. Now you want to fight. You just stole my bait. Ouch. Come here. Stop. Jerking. It's digging that line in my hand. That hurts. Yeah, I'm on. And you are. All right. I got these batteries switched out and him situated. All right, number 11, I believe. 18 pounds, 13 ounces. I was fighting more inside the boat than he did outside the boat. There he is. Ah. He slapped me in the stomach. All right, so that's two here. Got this. That's the way I got. Gizzard filet. Up, oh, there we go. Well, hopefully it's still there. Yep. picking back up. That's what I was hoping for. Hopefully he's over that rod. And he's pulling the boat. And my anchor screwed up too.
Come on up. See what we got here. That's another another foul hooked blue. I don't know why y'all keep doing that here. Yeah, I've never never hooked them like this before today. <clears throat> At least they're getting good hooks, that's in their fins. <laughs> Piece of gizzard too. Right in the fin. All right, let's get him situated. All right, number 12, another 18 pounder. 18.7. Get that sun behind me, beaming on me. All right, and he fell hooked himself. Oh, so I had the sun rise behind me. Now I've got the sun set behind me. It's not quite sunset, but it's getting close. But the bot does be picking up. <laughs> yeah, the bot does seem to be picking up here. Good. Thank you for letting me cast this one out. What it is, is they know I'm almost out of bait. Got a few gizzard chunks left and a few little little white perch. Oh, my pants are falling. All right, he gave me the piece of shed back at least. Don't do that. You're gonna fling it off. Gotcha, what you did. Little guy. It's number 13. 10 pounds, five ounces. Nice little croaker. All right, let me get these rods casted out and recast these. Look at my anchors, kind of got screwed up. A lot of boat wakes have been pushing me. So let me get these recasted out, some of these rebaited. Hopefully we'll keep hammering here. Man, he's going at it. Yeah, they're lighting up right here now. Might get more rods cast in this area. That seems to be where they're at. Old twirly bird blue. Oh, he's 
wrapped up kind of, that's why. Yeah, y'all keep wrapping and foul hooking yourselves. Don't look like he's gonna open. But he is getting ready to flail like crazy. Yep. Ooh, you stinky. Yeah. Easy. And the rod. And real. Ooh, you stink. Well, let's get stinky back in the water. All right, stinky. 13 three pounder. Oh, and back you go. Woo! Let's see. I've been writing down a book so I don't forget. So that was number 14. Well, I've got me a little notepad. So when you end up catching so many, you forget. All right, so I think I'll cast more rods this way. At least one more. Not getting any activity. Up front or over here, right in here. Go ahead and grab a rod from over here. Put the net over there. God, I still smell him on hands. What he did to get so stinky. All right, let me grab another rod and cast over this way. Oh, we're up. we got a hard tug on this. I don't know if he's still there. Yeah, he's here. Got my mic on the charger, didn't have time to put it back on. Had another one tugging on one of these. If he's still there. Come on up here. Frosty blue. Pretty good one. Come on in. Good hook. Had you. There we go. Real good hook. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, there we go. I dig that one out. Yeah, oh, that was bad. All right, let me get my mic back on there. All right, number 15. 21 pounds, nine ounces. Henri Blue. And back you go. 15 in the boat. All right, we'll put a white perch fillet on this now. Cut me up a perch, and now we got three of them out there. I gotta check a few rods they've been moving. So, hopefully we'll just keep hammering them here. All right, so we've been at it over 12 hours. 
We got 15 fish, so we're gonna go ahead and call it. I got a long ways from the dock and then a long ways home. And I gotta get up at five in the morning for my first job tomorrow. So we'll go ahead and call it there. Uh, pretty good trip, nothing big. Three in the 20s though. 15 fish off a of cut gizzard shad from 10 to teens feet deep. Just seems that the bite's real good in early morning and uh, here in the evening. And we pretty much fished from way up river all the way up by Lyle Creek, all the way up down here to Little Creek, Mid Lake. Oh, so I'm tired, so we'll go ahead and sign off. Hopefully I got enough gas to make it back up the long and we'll get at it uh, next Sunday. Well, if you made it this far, I want to thank you for watching. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And you can also check me out on these other platforms right here listed on the picture.